I wanted to ask uh, Trade Commissioner uh, about uh, the latest headlines on Brexit. Theresa May uh, seemingly mm. getting full support from her cabinet uh, for the uh, withdrawal agreement that she'd negotiated with Michel uh, Barnier. Uh, do you think that that now will get approval on the EU side uh, from all 27 states? Well, I certainly hope so. We're uh, very sad that the Brits are leaving us, but, but uh, if this is the beginning of, of the end of that procedure with the withdrawal agreement, um, and then we will have to discuss the future relationship, I guess there will be a meeting between the heads of states of the European Union and Mrs May to discuss all this in, in the coming weeks. And if she got uh, the, 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 uh, the, the government in the UK with her, that's certainly a positive development. So we will make sure that we... Uh, we have an agreement as soon as possible and that we also start to, to think about the life after and our future relations. So it's, it's an important step forward. The UK hopes uh, to strike a trade deal with the US after Brexit. Mm -hmm. From your discussions today mm -hmm. uh, with US trade uh, representatives, do you think that's an easy task? Well, it's not for me to judge. Obviously, when the UK is leaving the European Union, they will have to leave all the trade agreements with, uh, that exists currently and also negotiate with, with new partners. And, and I can imagine that for them it's a priority with the US, but that is absolutely not for me to intervene on. That will be between Washington and London to discuss. Commissioner, can you give us any kind of sense of when we could see some of these, uh, I guess, smaller deals between Europe and the US? Uh, I guess become official, be it LNG, be it soybeans, uh, some of the other areas where there seems to be um, a growing, um, you know, similarity between the two two countries. Especially given the fact that it seems like it would take years to actually negotiate a comprehensive trade deal, and that doesn't seem to be something that's been green lit by all the European Union members yet. Now, I think some of the things we discuss when it comes to regulatory cooperation on standards and so on, we, can, we don't have a formal deadline and I don't want to give you a date, but we are working very swiftly now in order to see what can be short-term deliverables that, that could, you know, you could see, uh, could see decisions already maybe beginning of next, year's, next year, but then there will be other things where we need to put processes in motion that will be slightly longer. A trade agreement limited on industrial goods could be quite quick to negotiate, I would say, but we need to agree on the parameters first. And then, uh, as I understood, the, the U.S. have just initialed a process here with the Congress to ask for the Trade Promotion Authority, and that has its own process. So we will have to wait until that, that is over before we can actually uh, identify the, 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 the framework of such an agreement, what we call a scoping agreement, and then I will have to get a mandate for that as well. But I think it can be a quite quick process, but we need now to wait for the procedure in the Congress if we and, and agree on, on the parameters. And Trade Commissioner, just to sum things up, uh, how would you uh, describe the overall tone uh, of your meeting and of the U.S. administration, their approach towards trade? There's been ups and downs uh, in the relationship uh, on this front. Uh, where is it at the moment? Is it uh, much improved than it, than it was six months ago, for example? Well, we still are very critical about these uh, tariffs on steel and aluminium that, that we are facing. It is hurting our companies. And we have been extremely clear that we don't think that car tariffs uh, would be good neither for Europe or for the US. It would also affect your American jobs. So that we are very clear about. But we have a positive agenda that we're trying to work. And I would say that the atmosphere between myself and Ambassador Lighthouse is very constructive, very friendly. We met several times. We know each other well by now. And we're trying to make the best of, uh, of this uh, as it is.